I'll be going over my solution in a second, but if you want to inspect it for yourself, you can find a link to it in the downloadable section. First things first, I want my images to fit. I set the max width on the image tag to 100%. And look at that, now the images are actually fitting inside the viewport. You can see the whole thing instead of some massive stretched out monster. Then I set the width on the article tag to 50M. You can immediately see that the content is actually fitting. The blog's starting to look a lot more reasonable, but the browser is still downloading images that are way too large. I need some smaller images. I could use a tool like OS X's Preview to resize and compress each image individually, but that really isn't scalable. So I use this grunt task to create new images that were scaled and compressed. I set a width of 1600 pixels for 2x displays. At a width of 50m on a 1x display, an image is going to be 800 pixels across, but on a 2x display, it's going to be 1600 pixels, so I went with a large one. I thought 30% still looked good while keeping the bytes to a minimum. Additionally, I'm appending large 2x to the end of each file for reasons that will make sense later in the course. With all that done, all I have to do is change the image sources to images slash whatever dash 1600 large 2x, and bam, my page just got a lot smaller. Check it out. After the changes, my page is down to 1.3 megabytes, which I'm feeling really good about. And lastly, I use the figure tag because it includes the awesome fig caption tag. Simply fill in the caption in fig caption and it shows up on the page. So the blog is looking a lot better overall, but it's still not perfect. At the end of the next lesson, you'll have another chance to improve the blog.